Hello. Uh, this little presentation is a supplement to one that I've just recorded about ways of using features of grasses come to recognise the common species. Uh, however, I've noticed while I've been out on the roads recently that there are two very common species in the city here, it is in Leicester City, um, that I didn't include in the presentation. And I thought perhaps uh, as they're so common around the streets, I should just give them a mention. The first of these is waterbent, um, which is a prolific grass around the pavement edges here and uh, rat's tail fescue, which is also um, around the pavement edges, not generally speaking like this picture uh, where it's been photographed on a stone wall or, a, yes, a stone wall. So first water bent. It's, as with other bents, uh, it only has one floret per spikelet. So they're very small, uh, each spikelet is very small um, and it has a branched inflorescence, but it is a relatively short-lived uh, plant, often annual, wh whereas uh, the other bents that I've talked about uh, are much longer lived. Um, and the big feature, I think, to distinguish it from the other bents is just how crowded the branches are, uh, even more crowded than those on creeping bent. Um, also, because it's growing mostly in the streets, not in a field, you do tend to be able to see the whole plant, which has this rather spread appearance. Um, it, it does tend to flower quite late, but it's, uh, it's fighting against the city sprayers. Uh, okay, the other one, uh, rat's tail fescue, is, um, tends to have a slightly one-sided look to the inflorescence. It's often drooping with the uh, spikelets hanging down one side of the rachis. Uh, the spikelets are short stalked. I think you can see that here, but sometimes a little bit longer. Uh, and they do alternate up the rachis. Uh, uh, the lemmas have long horns. And one of the special features for this particular rat's tail fescue, uh, this particular fescue, which is actually not a festuca, but a vulpia, um, is that it has a leaf sheath which uh, grows right up and to the very base, even slightly enclosing the very base of the inflorescence. If you uh, use your lens, on the inflorescence, you'll notice, you need, you need to look quite carefully, but you'll notice that the upper gloom is at least twice as long as the lower gloom. You, I'm sorry, you can't see it in these photographs, but the lower gloom is often really much reduced and the upper gloom is a much longer organ. Uh, again, thank you very much to Nature Spot, especially for the excellent photos by Dave Nichols and Graham Callow. Uh, I think those two species are really increasing around our city streets, so it shouldn't be long before you find them. Good luck.